Scooby. Today I have three different face masks for you. I have a bentonite face mask, a coffee face mask, and a red clay face mask. I hope you enjoy! So for the bentonite clay mask, the bentonite heals and regenerates skin tissue. It also helps to shrink pores and prevent blackheads. The vitamin E we use in it reverses skin damage and is very hydrating for your skin. The tree tree oil is used to treat acne, and the eucalyptus oil is a antibacterial. We use witch hazel to fight acne and prevent from skin damage. And then I use green tea to prevent under eye circles and it's also very hydrating. Okay, so what you'll need for this face mask is green tea, bentonite clay, lavender oil or an oil of your choosing, tea tree oil, eucalyptus oil, vitamin E oil, and witch hazel. So starting off I take about three drops of the eucalyptus oil and the tea tree oil into the bowl. Forgive me now cause I'm not trying to bring out the worst in you. After that I will add 10 drops of lavender or your choosing of oil just to make it smell better. take my vitamin E oil. I usually just eyeball this, but I try to get around a quarter teaspoon into the bowl with all the rest of the oils. After that, I will take the witch hazel and I will add another about quarter teaspoon. And then the green tea. That I'll do about a whole teaspoon. Now it's time for the bit night clay. You want to add this in as slowly as possible. Words I've spoken broken never can replace them again. What I said was what I meant, so you can hear it again. Sex Don't worry if you mess up like I did. It's an easy fix with more green tea and witch hazel. Something I'm not if I'm not something at all. What I said was what I meant. So I just wanted to read to you guys a few things that are beneficial from the coffee grounds. The coffee grounds get rid of puffiness of under eye Alright, so the things you'll need for this face mask is coffee grounds, cocoa powder, honey, lemon juice, milk, and measuring spoons. I am just going to take a half teaspoon of the coffee grounds and put that into the bowl. After that, I will take a half teaspoon of the cocoa powder and put that with the coffee grounds in the bowl. I will then add a pre-measured amount of two teaspoons of milk into the bowl with the coffee grounds and cocoa powder and I will mix that together. Waiting for years for this. So many summer nights Sitting on the fence, so much catching up. Once that's mixed, I will take a so quarter teaspoon of do. lemon juice and honey and put those into the mixture. This is also new to me. 
The honey gave me a little bit of trouble. Was there something you wanted to say? Was there something that you wanted to say? Text me now, cause I'm lost. In an hour, I'll fall for you. Forgive me now, cause I'm not trying to. And now I will just mix those together, and that is the face mask. Please take me home now. Please take me home. Please take me home. Please take me home. The red clay balances the skin. It reduces the skin. Follow me. The only other thing you will need for the red clay face mask is red clay. So starting off, I take about three drops of the eucalyptus oil and the tea tree oil into the bowl. Forgive me now, cause I'm not trying to bring out the worst in you. I will then take my vitamin E oil. I usually just eyeball this, so I'll try to get around a quarter teaspoon into the bowl with all the rest of the oil. After that, I will take the witch hazel, and I will add another about four teaspoons. And then the green tea. That I'll do about a whole teaspoon. Again, you need to stir this in as slowly as possible so that your consistency doesn't get too dry and flaky. I did it a lot better and I didn't have to add any liquids. Like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Tell me which one is this your favorite. Please take me home now. Take me.